So one of the more important surfaces that we are going to be using quite frequently throughout the remainder of the course are the quadratic surfaces. So the equation of a quadratic surface is a second degree equation of the following form. So it looks like ax squared plus by squared plus cz squared plus dxy plus exz plus fyz plus gx plus hy plus iz plus j equals zero, where a, b, c, d, all the way up to j are all constants that are not all zero. So this is a quadratic surface in three dimensions. Now, they won't all be this big, I promise. The family of quadratic surfaces is enormous, but we're going to focus here on the basic six, and we'll be able to use those basic six to identify adaptations of these surfaces. So as we've started to establish, sketching Three-dimensional surfaces by hand can be a little bit challenging, but I want to provide you with some helpful hints for sketching the quadratic surfaces and really all surfaces in general. So helpful hints include finding the intercepts. Finding the X, Y, and Z intercepts, if they exist, can always help you with sketching, just like this, just like with two dimensions. So we want to determine the points, if any, so if any exist, where the surface crosses one of the coordinate axes, or we can say intersects one of the coordinate axes. And we know how to do this. If you wanted to determine where the surface is going to cross the x-axis, you let y equal 0 and z equal 0. And the other two intercepts work in a similar manner. Now, another helpful hint for sketching quadratic surfaces is determining the coordinate traces. So here we want to find that two-dimensional curve where the surface and one of the coordinate planes intersects. So we determine the two-dimensional curve where the surface and we can even say not just one of the coordinate planes, but the surface and the coordinate planes intersect. And we looked at this in the very last example. So we also looked at this last helpful hint in the last example, and this is to sketch at least two traces in parallel planes. So as we saw with cylinders in three dimensions, and as we saw with the traces example, it can always be helpful to draw copies of your trace on either side to help you visualize the full surface. So we can incorporate a copy of the coordinate traces if they exist. Okay, so finding the intercepts determining your coordinate traces, and incorporating at, at least two traces in parallel planes when applicable 
are three ways to help simplify sketching quadratic surfaces and surfaces in three dimensions in general. So now we've got some strategy. So let's go ahead and explore these six basic quadratic surfaces.